Is he mad with me, Caesar? Is he mad with me, Caesar? Is he mad with me, Caesar? learn all about unit rates. You're going to learn what they are, why we use them, how to find them, and we're going to use things like double number lines, strip diagrams, and t-charts to organize our information and be able to work with unit rates. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to use unit rates in your everyday life. And I'm going to take you along with me to the grocery store to start the learning. All right, so unit rate is just referring to how much is one of something. So at the store today, I noticed that there were four lemons for a dollar. So we're going to be looking for the unit rate or the amount of just one lemon. Okay, so first we're gonna look at a double number line for our lemons problem that are four for a dollar. And so with my top number line, I like to just put one lemon here, four lemons here. And then I'm showing down here the price. So those four lemons are one dollar, and then here is where I'm wanting to fill in. So now I'm just thinking of how to cut this $1 up into four groups. So I can kind of think about mental math. You know, if I have an actual dollar and I'm trying to break it up into four amounts, what could be the four amounts? Okay, you might be thinking of quarters, right? So if I cut a dollar up into four quarters, then they're each worth 25 cents. So that is the amount that goes right here. All right, and that's how a double number line works. It just shows the relationship between the four lemons and the $1 and then breaks it up into something called a unit price, which is just how much is it for one or a unit. Now the limes were five for a dollar. So let's go over to the whiteboard and figure out the unit rate for limes. All right, and now we can show the limes also. So I'm gonna make a strip diagram on this one. One, two, three, four, and five five because we knew that there were five limes and I like to at the end of the strip diagram just show that there were five limes and they also cost one dollar okay and then what I like about a strip diagram is that then you can think through okay what goes in every single section or for every single lime Okay, so you may already have an amount in your head of what would be $1 broken up into five groups, but you could also, if you don't have an answer that comes to mind, you could also do a division problem because that's really what we're doing. We're cutting that $1 up into five groups. And so, and I like this type of problem because it is... Uh, just like a problem you would have done last year. So a decimal amount divided by a whole number and fives are so easy to work with. This will be really easy to get started on. One is too small, so I'm going to do zero right here. Bring the decimal point up. And then I'm going to look at 10. So how many groups of five can I make with 10? Yep, two. Five times two is 10. And you probably remember this, that we're kind of ignoring the decimal point now. It just really goes straight up into the answer. But we can do all of the rest of the algorithm just like normal. Okay, bring down. And then we have zero, so I can make zero groups, of course. Five times zero is zero. All right, so it looks like 20 cents. And we, in a strip diagram, we just fill them all in. And let's just check our work as we go. So 20 cents, 40 cents, 60, 
80 and a hundred or a dollar. All right, the wall of deals at my grocery store is amazing. And I noticed these uh, packs of nine snacks were only $5.78, cheaper than other stores. And so of course I needed to buy one, but I also wanna know the unit rate. So how much is just one pack? Okay, so now I wanna show you my third strategy for organizing unit prices or unit rates, and that is a T-chart like this. So I like to fill in the information I have. So I know that these snacks, we have nine of them, and they cost $5.78. Then all I do is I want to know one snack, because that's the unit, that's the unit rate, is just one snack, what price is it? And then right here is the mystery that I need to figure out. And what I do next is I look at this like I would any T-chart or, um, you know, input output table or any sort of pattern is I would look like this from nine down to one. What operation am I doing? Okay, you might have said divide by nine. You might have also thought, well, it could also be minus eight. But when we're doing unit rates, we're looking at multiplication and division. So then I would also want to do divided by nine over here. Okay, and I want you to pause the video and work that problem out. And then we'll come back and check your work. Okay, so now I'm gonna pause there because I wanna show you something interesting about this problem. So whenever I get a remainder like this, and I'm working with decimals, or really any numbers, I you might remember this from last year. So if you put a zero on the end of it, then you can continue bringing down, and then we might be able to get this down to zero or we might end up with a repeating decimal. So let's find out what happens. So let's see, I can make two groups. Nine times two is 18. Okay, let's subtract. Oh my goodness, okay. So it looks like the same thing is happening as before. So that means this is a repeating decimal right here. So I'm gonna put a little mark above it. And so I could keep going on forever and ever, and I would keep getting two, 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 two. It would just keep going. So I'm gonna go ahead and say on this one, I'm gonna do a little rounding. And I'm sure you remember rounding of decimals. So if I want to make it just look like money, right? I want it to go two decimal places here. And then I'm gonna look at this place right here to help me decide. Should I round it, should I keep it at 64 cents or should I round up to 65 cents? What do you think? Yeah, we wanna stay at 64 cents. All right, great job. So our unit price for the snacks is 64 cents. Okay, last we have these packs of 12 rolls for $3.98. Let's figure out the unit rate. All right, now we have the 12 rolls for $3.98. And again, a unit rate is how much does just one roll cost? So what pattern are you seeing here? What can we do to get from 12 down to one? Okay, you got it, divide by 12. So we're gonna do that over here. And I want you to pause the video, see what you get for $3.98 divided by the 12 rolls. Whew. 
All right, I'm pausing again here because I want to show you again in case you need a little practice with it, putting a zero on the end. The reason why that's okay to do is because it doesn't change the money amount. It's still three whole dollars, nine in the tenths place, eight in the hundredths place. This zero doesn't affect that, so it's okay to do this and see what happens. Let's see if we get a repeating decimal or something else. Okay, so I can make one group, two would be 24, so too many. Okay. Okay, I got eight. Okay, let's do another zero. See what happens. Okay, let's think. I think times six is going to get us the closest, 72. Okay, so now I'm getting to the point where I'm going to keep getting an eight because, you know, if I kept going and brought it down, I'm, it's going to be a six again, and I'm just going to keep going. So that six is a repeating decimal and I can come back here to the tenths and hundredths place and then look at the thousandths to figure out my rounding so what should I go with here should I stay at 33 cents or go up to 34 cents what do you think okay you might remember that if this is zero to four you round, you stay at whatever the digit is here. And if it's five to nine, you go up. So we're gonna say the unit price is 33 cents. All right. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. See you next time.